just recently, I have updated the firmware on my LED clock. Okay, it's LED clock. Mm. I have modified the code to display a little widget on one of the column characters every 10 seconds that indicates the tens of seconds on one of the columns. Let it run for a minute. As you can see, every 10 seconds the segment goes around clockwise. And starting back at the top on the minute. Now that colon is also the place where it inserts the bell character as well on the hourly beep. <clears throat> the second colon, however, is just a static colon character, and I haven't got it to change with the um, alley or anything, so it's just that one beat, that one colon beat gets replaced. And the cycle starts again. The code for the clock starts off by writing the values for the little spinning widget to EEPROM. There's uh, six values there, <coughs> and uh, on the top segment, the one clockwise around from that, again, goes around clockwise, so that gets back to one before 64, and starts again. And you got your variables for seconds, tens of seconds minutes, tens of minutes, uh, tens units, hours, and just the plain hours, no leading zeros. Uh, the bit zero change flag is a variable that lets it know that data has changed and it will send out the serial. Uh, that's used in the setting modes. It sets pin 3 as an interrupt. Uh, that's the minute set pin input 2. It also enters the setting mode for the clock. Um, I did have an alarm on there at one stage on the early revisions, but at the moment I currently have no space on the pickaxe for alarm. Pickaxe uh, has changed one of the variables, uh, the most probably the second variable. It will send out the clock data, uh, sort it in the variables when you set it, or when the pickaxe is reset and it starts from zero again. Um, B8 is the value that shows the spinning widget. And that's the colon character and your variables for each of the time units. And it does the hours by doing the division and modulus division for the hours variable. This so uh, I can have a leading zero. And that's if it's in time setter mode. Um, 
that was for the alarm settings in the earlier version. And when it's in setting mode, it says pin 4 is an interrupt, which is the OK button. It sets seconds to 0, and the time setting flag to 1. And it lets the other two buttons set the time. It <coughs> increments the minutes and hours. It reuses some code in the interrupt to increment the hours and minutes. And when it's done, it resets the interrupt back to pin 3, which and because pin 4 is an interrupt in this stage, it goes here. Sets the setting flags and time set flags to 0, resets pin 3 interrupt, and returns. And normally, uh, pin 3, which is attached to a 1 pulse per second um, clock ticker, will bypass that code and continue onwards. Waits for the interrupt pin to drop out, and it increments the seconds variable. So if it um, goes if it's 10, it increments from 10 to seconds and so on. Um, I have added um, just after the seconds in increment uh, it reads the variable from the EE prom to the first column value first column variable but it's rotates the spinning widget clockwise and, <coughs> and uh, tens of minutes is above 6 it resets those values to 0 replaces B7 with a bell character which does the alley beep and increments the hours for value and of course it's 24 hour and after which is 24 it resets and continues on from there